This is CMS 476, Session 5, Screencast Part 4, the second installment. Got lots of little chunks of the lecture this week because of the limitations on size of uploads for YouTube. We have created our puppy class. We're going to continue where we left off. A click, a new attribute, puppy birth date, just for fun. Over here, sure enough, we've got a date data type. We're going to want to create now a kennel class. Click, click, no. give it a new name, kennel, a new attribute. I think we called it kennel code, which was our ID. Default value of an integer sounds fine to me. Another attribute, a click on the new attribute. Replace the default name with kennel name. Click on a new attribute. Kennel location. Oh, I forgot that last moment to change that to a string. Kennel location is going to be a string data type. Kennel name is also going to be, those are single clicks to give it focus, two clicks to get down to string, and away we go. How do you relate these two critters? Do so in this case with a new aggregation. We click there, single click anywhere there, drop it there. It says it's a one-to-one -one relationship, but we're going to double click on that. Well, let's see. Yeah, we'll do the, the one-to-many part first. We're going to say that a kennel can have one to many. That's an one dot dot star. And we have our relationship. Double click in one of the existing boxes and you can label it. Puppies are born at. Double click in the other box. Kennels produce. We could have given the whole relationship a name, but I bypass that. That's the basics of a of forming relationships in a class diagram. We could continue this by adding puppies and tricks, but I think this will give you the basic click and uh, drop and uh, operating the pull down lists. As you can see from the interface, there's tons of other stuff going on here. But basically, at this point, all you have to do is File, Save Project. The default file name is Zargo, Z-A-R-G-O. Excuse me, that's the extension. So I'm going to stuff this guy on my H drive in my College of Santa Fe folder, in the 476 folder, Fall 2008. And here's good a place as any to store the Daisy Hill, too many L's, the Daisy Hill example with a Zargo extension. Once this is saved, 
you have a file that can be processed with a either a Python utility that you have on your machine or easier still by going to a website uploading your model and getting a zip file sent back with the appropriate code that represents this relationship. This is uh, as far as we're going to go this week with Argo. Next week we'll do a more complex example and that will include creating the code and then uploading it so that you can see the code in action within a website. This concludes all of the Session 5 screencasts until next week.